The family of two four-year-olds killed in a fire in Queens is thanking the public tonight for all its support. Relatives are facing unimaginable grief as they make plans to lay the children to rest. CBS 2's Catherine Brown is live in Far Rockaway where the family is struggling to cope with its loss. Catherine. Good evening. It has been an emotional afternoon here. Certainly the family was gathered outside. They're now many of them inside this home where the fire broke out. They're leaning on one another for support. They are grieving and they are planning two funerals for these uh, four year old children who died here Saturday night. They say they cannot do it alone. Four year old Leilani Tinglin played outside the far Rockaway home where her twin brother Jaylani and half sister Anaya were killed in a fire Saturday night. She barely made it out alive. The children's father held her tight as he spoke out for the first time since the tragedy visibly shaken. I just want to thank everybody for their support, their love, and my kids will be very missed and never forgotten. You're doing fine. <laughs> Jaylani's mother tried but could not speak through her tears. On behalf of my sister and my family, I just want to say thank you for your love and support and all your prayers. As the family plans not one but two funerals for the four-year-old children, there are heart-wrenching questions being raised over the time it took for an ambulance to arrive that night. 21 minutes from the time 911 was first called until EMT units showed up on the scene. Fire Commission or Sal Cassano. We're looking at uh, the timeline and uh, delay of an ambulance being dispatched and why it happened. We're trying not to rush to judgment, but this sounds like an outrageous, uh, grievous affront. And on behalf of these children, we are not going to sleep until we get a little justice here. There are talks of a lawsuit against the city and the family won't rule it out, but they're understandably grief stricken and grappling with an unfathomable loss, clinging now to the only child they have left, little Leilani, and praying the others can rest in peace. Thank you, everyone. Thank you for the love and support. Thank you. Well, there is a relief fund set up to help the family out with funeral expenses. It's called the Jaylani Tinglin and Anaya Tinglin Fund. And for more information on that and donating to that, you can head over to our website, cbsnewyork.com. For now, we're live in Far Walkaway, Queens. I'm Katherine Brown, CBS 2 News.